Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL accounting system GST tutorial video. In today's lesson, I'll talk about the top 5 GST features. The first features I would like to highlight is delay of purchase invoice. Delay of purchase invoice means that, let's say you purchase something in April and you already submit your GST return in July and only by August you receive the purchase invoice for the April purchase. Let's simulate. Let's say we already process the GST from April to June and then we try to key in a purchase invoice. for the April purchase and when we try to save the system will not allow because your GST return already processed and submitted so some consultant may request you to change the purchase invoice date but this is not correct you should remain the purchase invoice date as same as the actual supplier invoice date so for SQL, what you need to do is just right click the title and then set text date. Over here, you can actually set the date when you receive the purchase invoice. For example, it's 18th of August. So you click OK and save the transaction. It can be done. The system will actually separate out the purchase and put back into April and GST input tax will put into August where you delay the claim of input tax to the August taxable period. This is correct. So this is the first things that I would like to highlight in the GST features. Second is the non-refundable deposit. Non-refundable deposit meaning that there is a at once payment from the customer. Let's push the previous GST return and then we go to customer payment new we click at a we create a customer payment so maybe a uh, 100 ringgit put in the check number so there's no transaction happened before this will be a part payment for the future purchase from the customer so what we need to do is just click the non-refundable deposit where the system will automatically calculate the GST so how it works we save the customer payment and we go and process GST 03 and do remember the official receipt let's put an OR training so process the GSC 03 we go to GSC 03 form and let's check on the output tax what you need to do is go to output tax 5b double click the figure and you can see that this is the customer payment and it will be charged GST by using the formula tax inclusive 6 over 106. So what happened if there is a tax invoice data? Let's go to sales invoice. We select a customer, a GST customer and invoice we put IV training and the date let's put August so we have something select the item key in the amount then let's save so what you need to do you need to do an extra steps by going back to the customer payment let's search the customer you click edit you can see that 
the invoice will appear over here what you need to do is just click on the knock off button to knock off this payment with this invoice so save it and when you process the GSC 03 again for the next taxable period let's go to the GSC 03 check on the output tax again and you can see that the system will automatically deduct out the customer payment the non-refundable deposit so the system will not charge you double time because the system will automatically take out the deposit part so this is how SQL handle the non-refundable deposit for 21 days rules it works the similar way so go back let's push both the GSD return Watch it. By the way, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Okay, so for 21 day rules, meaning that there is a delivery order and the tax invoice is issued after 21 days. So GSC should be charged based on the delivery order. Let's simulate. Let's say we have a delivery order in April. The DO is called DO training. And then there will be a DO in April. Select item. We save it. So we have a DO. So when you process GSC 03, There's already more than 21 days. So check on the output tax also. You can see that output tax already charged based on the delivery order. So when later on you try to transfer the delivery order to a tax invoice. So new. Customer IP DO IP. Let's say this is in August. Right click the invoice title transfer from delivery order. So you just transfer over the amount, click save, and when we go to process GSD 03 check on the output tax and you can see that same things the system will automatically deduct out the delivery order GST so that the system will not charge you double for the GST amount when you issuing the tax invoice this is how SQL handle 21 days rules automatically how about bad debt relief? Bad debt relief means that there is a purchase or sales in a particular month and if more than six months then you can do a bad debt relief. In this example we already have a transaction in April so we already processed from April to June July to September so if you process the third time okay the system will automatically show you let's say there is a purchase in June more than six months you are compulsory to claim back the you need to compulsory to submit the um, input tax that you already came and change it become an output tax so what you need to do is just click on the OK part why not we go and 
simulate a sales we push this we push all this we push all this we push all this and we do a sales in April Do a sales in April. And assuming that customer have not paid you for the first submission and you already need to pay on behalf. So second submission also nothing happened only until the third submission so you can see that that invoice will appear over here and you are allowed to do a bad debt relief for the sales part well you should do the bad debt relief but if you decided not to do the bad debt relief you can write in to get approval from custom DG but for the purchasing part, it's compulsory. So if that you get the approval, you can untick the beta relief for your sales. So what you need to do is just click on the OK. System will take care of the beta relief. And it will go to the beta relief screen, the field number 17. So this is how SQL handle the beta relief. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. So, the last GST features I would like to highlight will be gift rules. So, we go to, let's say we have a, let's push all the GST return first. Let's push again. it so let's say I always give a gift to my staff let's say Ali is my staff so over maintain customer you need to maintain your staff as a customer or if you give the gift is to your customer then you maintain as customer so what you need to do is go to GST in SQL we have something called gift or dim supply screen over here let's do this let's say we give to Ali on 4th of 18th of April so there is a gift to him one quantity but only 300 ringgit so expenses account we select the gift account So, if this is a gift, you need to take the yearly exam 500 ringgit caps. So, we save it. In GST, we process the GST return. We check the output tax. And you can see that the system will not charge GST, it's zero. What if we give another round of gift to him? Ali, this is number two, but this time is in August. At description key, give again. One, let's say another 700. So in total, already 1,000 ringgit system will automatically keep track for you so with 1000 it's already more than the 500 maximum caps so let's see what happened in the GST return so we go in we check again at the output tax 
and you can see that for the second gift the system will use the total amount plus the six percent and it's this is how SQL accounting system handle the gift rules automatically so there you are the five main features of SQL accounting system GST module again I'm Brian let's say you have any doubts or you want to check any latest information regarding GST SQL you can always come to my Facebook it's facebook.com slash syntax technologies like my page and you have all the latest information and even Q&A between me and my customer or fans over my Facebook so that's all for today again I'm Brian from syntax technologies thank you